Hey everyone, this is Albert. The Lord gave me two prophetic warning and this is very urgent and very very important. Watch till the end. The Lord told me that right now as we are really here there are companies and corporations they are trying to create a chip that's going to be implanted to people's brain so that that brain activity can be monitored this is not new this is already there testing is going on and there are a lot of restrictions limitations among the nations but the goal and the objective of this chip is to monitor your brain how you think what you choose and what is your health condition and what kind of medicines that you have intake what are all the shots that your body has today and what are all the complications not only that and this is going to be a danger because enemy wants to use this to control the mind when a person is possessed with demon enemy controls the mind of that person the body belongs to that person but obviously the mind was controlled by the enemy the satan and tells what the body should do and that is exactly implanting a chip in the brain is like a possession and that's really very true because a person can send signal to this brain chip so that the brain can able to behave and activate and think in a certain way how they programmed to think so it's really really critical and important to pray and to stand against all the agenda of the enemy and the spirit of antichrist is already there and coming against the church but god says the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church it's really a powerful time right now we are living for church to raise a bow prophetically to dismantle every schemes and the plans of the enemy to stand firm and not bow down to any idols that enemy has put forth and this is the season that we are not called to live according to the patterns of this world but be firm in god in christ jesus this is a powerful season where god is saying my son my daughter the freedom is being attacked every day someone is working on to attack the freedom in a subtle way in a very very disguised way and if there is a country or a nation or an organization that can be easily influenced by enemy to fulfill the agenda of the enemy it's really important to wake up to raise a bow to see and pray and prophesy what needs to happen in the nation and in the world it's very very dangerous thing to implant a chip in the brain and control and many people will take it but god is really encouraging to resist and stand firm not to bow down the reason is because it has a greater consequences than the benefits Bible says our body belongs to God and God dwells in us and planting something to monitor and to control and to supply certain neurological thinking and deliver certain signal and frequency in your brain is really really critical and that's what world is going on and it is really important to pray for regulation pray for certain things to come in place so that there will be freedom of choice it is going to be powerful during the world war someone told this he told to conquer a nation first disarm its citizens and that is the key word and before conquering a nation disarm it is really important that god wants this nation to be protected defended and god is the one who is protecting this nation he is the one defending this nation he is the one who gave the freedom he is the one who gave the freedom to stand firm on the second amendment america is a armed nation until today i'm not talking about the military i'm talking about the individuals people patriots who believe in the freedom they who believe in self defense they all are armed and protected none of the nation would like to even think about conquering america because they know that america is armed and even though if we if they militarily try to conquer still they cannot able to sustain or keep that conquering moment it is going to go away from their hand and the, all the nation trying to come against will be pushed back sent back and they cannot able to be here someone asked a nation's military leader they asked you came all the way till pearl harbor why you did not move forward and conquer the nation this is the answer of a great leader of a nation told 
we cannot conquer america because the people are armed and we cannot even think about doing that so we retreated and that is the statement not from within from outside but enemy is using the elements to disarm the people inside and that's happening in the name of regulation and things although there are a lot of regulations needed but disarming completely is really going to be dangerous from external elements and that is not really thought about and god wants you to believe in the truth and believe in the word of god and this is going to be powerful and this is going to be supernatural this is going to be amazing the lord says that my son my daughter america shall thrive multiply prosper and this is the time and the season i will come against every plans of the enemy agenda of the enemy the lord says i will bring breakthrough and i will bring freedom once again in the nation in the area where this nation is struggling i'm going to bring forth an amazing deliverance this is the time for people to wake up congress to wake up house of representatives to wake up senate to wake up and there is going to be awakening and revival church to wake up this is going to be a powerful move and this is a glorious move the lord wants to bless this nation protect this nation although these warnings are coming all along many many years but now we see that it is coming more and more and more evidently more openly more plainly no longer subtle but more openly the lord says, is that i the lord will bring forth deliverance and breakthrough for this nation it is god who is protecting this nation it is god who has really fortified the boundaries of this nation and it is god who protected you for your free will to be used and not some chip to control your free will and this is really really important enemy wants to control your free will enemy wants to control whom you should vote enemy wants to control what you should think enemy wants to inject the lessons in the college in the schools back into the chip so that it will be accessible and that is what we are going on but god is against such agenda and the plans because it tries to replace god it tries to replace the health system it tries to replace everything that god is providing today for his beloved and today there needs to be a thin line there are a lot of benefits in certain things but there needs to be regulations there needs to be certain boundary even the artificial intelligence open ai so many things are coming along and chat gpt so many things are coming along while a lot of benefits are there but there is a dangerous side that can able to control manipulate and completely cause so much of pain in the future generation so this is the time for us to raise up and understand discern walk in the wisdom of god move in the oracle of god walk in the power of god and stand for freedom and discern through the word of god with the help of holy spirit there is going to be an amazing breakthrough it is going to be so powerful god is giving lot of good tools and ability and potential but use it in the right way and when it is in the good hands then it is going to be productive and fruitful when it is in the evil hands it is going to be used for control manipulation we see that in the world wars that how when a person is really led by the evil agenda and motive they are ruthless merciless and completely control manipulation power thirsty blood thirsty people and today god wants us to bring forth the amazing breakthrough as you pray the things are going to be eradicated and pushed back and the agendas are going to be pushed back god says that my son my daughter i'll bless you abundantly i'll bless this nation i'll bless your nation you're watching from it's going to be powerful and glorious he loves you so much greater things are yet to come don't forget to come for the california prophetic conference if you are around and god bless you you are blessed to be a blessings greater things are yet to come share this video with at least one of your friends god bless you you all have a blessed day be sure to hit the thumbs up if you are blessed and subscribe for more videos god bless you amen